Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is iTalk. Hello Susan. Here, and in today's video, we have a brand new video. So we got some more information coming out of Apple versus Epic. Now you guys are probably aware of this, but there's that whole lawsuit with Epic Games and Apple and how you can't even play Fortnite on Apple devices anymore. A lot of interesting stuff has kind of come out of it as of late. And I wanted to talk about a little bit with you guys from Sexy Nutella over on Twitter. He said that in a recent court filing for the Epic versus Apple lawsuit, some information was revealed about Fortnite. First thing here is that Fortnite added 32 million new players in the second quarter of 2020 alone, the highest quarterly addition of new players since the third quarter of 2018. This was right around the time when we had the Travis Scott concert as well, so that does make a lot of sense. Just a really cool experience there, and it's really cool to see that a lot of people did join in 2020 you know it just kind of goes to show you when you see people just saying oh fortnite's dead yada 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 it's like well not necessarily in february of 2019 epic hosted a virtual concert featuring dj marshmallow on fortnite several weeks prior to the concert apple asked if epic could use the concert as an opportunity to market apple music Fortnite said no, and then Apple then leaked the Marshmallow set list prior to the event going live. Not really a nice thing for Apple to do, but okay. Moving on here, they say in October of 2019, Mike Schmid, Apple's business development manager responsible for Fortnite, reached out to Mark Rain, which is Epic's vice president, requesting assets in advance to support a promotion for Fortnite's upcoming launch of Chapter 2, the largest update to the game since its original launch. Because Epic was planning a surprise release of Chapter 2, Schmid repeatedly assured Epic that he would take personal responsibility for ensuring that Apple did not leak the concept. Despite these assurances, Apple leaked Fortnite Chapter 2 artwork ahead of the planned launch, spoiling the surprise for Fortnite players on all platforms. I do remember that instance. They also say here, exclusive episodes of ESPN's The Ocho and the Discovery Channel's Tiger Shark King aired within Fortnite on August 8th and 10th of 2020 respectively. More than 2 million users viewed The Ocho while 900,000 users viewed Tiger Shark King. And then they say here, Epic's Party Hub feature allows players to preview the item shop. In 2020, more than 50% of all weekly active users swiped into the mobile shop tab within Party Hub. So that's pretty cool. And they also say here in July of 2020, Epic aired We the People, a series of discussions on racial equity and voter suppression in America within Fortnite. More than 1.5 million users viewed each event. And then finally, the main topic I wanted to really talk about today was that Sheena BR over on Twitter also added to this saying that Apple has apparently made multiple requests to Epic to get exclusive skins for iOS, some of which would be used to promote the App Store gift cards. And that's kind of a bummer. We've always kind of wondered like, you know, why isn't Apple actually getting any sort of exclusives from Fortnite? Like we've been begging for that for a good while now. And it looks like that they had the same thing in mind. It seemed like that Apple wanted to bring some exclusive skins to Fortnite, but it got turned down. Probably due to the fact that Fortnite just flat out hates Apple. I mean, they've not been a fan of Apple for a, quite a bit. And it's kind of a shame. Like, I do wish that, like, all these companies got along with one another. But I know that's just not how business works. I would have really liked to see some iOS skins become exclusive skins. I don't know if any skins that we had in the files or have been released now... I don't know if any of them were going to be exclusive skins for iOS or not. We don't really know that answer. If I had to guess, I want to say that the Iris skin is definitely one that I thought that could have been an iOS skin because of the name being Siri backwards. I still kind of want to say that that was going to be an iOS skin, but we just won't know that ever. And that's the thing, right? If iOS does ever come back with Fortnite, will we actually start to see iOS exclusive skins again? And they said they wanted to promote it through the gift cards and they didn't want to promote it through actual phone sales like how they do for most mobile phones, like with the Galaxy skin, as well as like the Iconic skin, were all sold with a phone. It seemed like they just wanted to stick with gift cards, and that would have been a lot more affordable. I mean, we've seen Fortnite do this before, right? We've seen them do accessories to products for skins. We've seen skins like Royal Bomber getting a controller bundle. Neo Versa also got like a controller bundle. And very soon, we're going to be seeing the Fleet Force set bundle, which is supposed to be for the Wildcat skin. It's going to be a little Joy-Con bundle. So we've seen this happen before, but not with a phone company. So pretty interesting stuff that Apple wanted to do exclusive skins and Fortnite just said no to it. 
and that kind of annoys me a little bit because I love exclusive skins. I think they're some of the coolest skins out there, not just because they look pretty cool most of the time, but mainly just due to the fact that it's like it's exclusive, it's really hard to come by, and they're just fun to collect. I really do enjoy collecting the exclusive skins, and it would have been cool if I did get an iOS skin. I did just remember this though, a lot of people were always going to Apple and saying why weren't we getting Fortnite skins for Apple phones or for iOS and they never gave us an answer for that and it turns out that they wanted to do that but Fortnite really just said no to it so I really do hope that if iOS and Fortnite can play nice and we can get Fortnite on iOS again which by the way I would really like that. I really don't want to see people not be able to play their favorite game anymore. And the saddest thing about this, right, is I feel like anyone that's still stuck on iOS that doesn't have a console or a different kind of phone or anything, they probably moved on from Fortnite. Like, Fortnite took so much of their player base away. Like, I didn't think that the mobile player base was that big. I was wrong. It was very big. So... It just sucks to see them not be able to play their favorite game again, and most of them probably moved on by now, which is a huge shame. Like, I understand the whole point of the hashtag free Fortnite thing, but was it really worth losing a lot of your player base over it? I don't know. I don't want to throw my hat back in the ring on this. I just want there to be peace between these companies. I mean, I think that's what we all want, right? I think we just want... Fortnite to be playable on iOS again, but I wanted to go over this with you guys because I thought you would find it pretty interesting that yes, iOS did want to do exclusive skins. We got a little bit more statistics on new players coming into the game during the Travis Scott concert times. Apple did leak out a few things, including the marshmallow set list, as well as the chapter two picture. It's very interesting, but I want to know guys, what do you think about the video? So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please let me know to like and subscribe to the channel if you're brand new and turn on the bell just to get all my latest uploads. And if you like to use me for support a creator my code is itf you all have yourselves a fantastic day or night everyone see ya but if i had the choice between doing what you said or just being me i choose me at least for right now because deep down i'm the one who knows what's right for me i need help